I'm pretty sure you've heard of the term a happy coincidence before. This is exactly what's happening here now. This little spatula thing they gave with the epoxy is exactly the perfect width for the dominoes. Look at that. That's what we call a happy coincidence. It's not planned. It just works out that way. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Not so long ago, I got this wood as a gift. It's uh, quite old and it was, it was laying outside. Because it was laying outside, I hope you can see this, it's quite weathered. I think it's the correct term. It's quite weathered. It's got all these interesting cracks and crevices on it. But this is actual yellow wood, Cape yellow wood, which is a very nice wood. I was glad to receive it, but I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. It's not really a functional wood, uh, in my opinion, anymore for like a shelf or something because of the wear and tear and all the, the blemishes and everything it has. It's more to me a showpiece, more a decorative piece. But then I saw this on Pinterest, a domino clock. And if you look at the, at the background of the, uh, of the wood, the wood also looks like it's a bit weathered. And I thought to myself, perfect. This will work perfect for it. And that's what I'm going to be building today, is a domino clock. However, before we can build a domino clock, we first have to do this. Whenever you have dominoes, it is an absolute must that you must do this. Okay, now we can build. The first thing I'm going to do is work out more or less what the diameter of the clock face would be so that I can determine what the size of the wood must be. The, the diameter of the clock face will be approximately 280 millimeters. This is 125 millimeters meaning three of them side by side two will not be enough three of them will be 375 millimeters that that will actually work perfectly if i put three three of these side by side great and then they have to be 375 millimeters long
Now this side is going to be interesting. Ah! Ah! No, it's not. It's going to be easy. I like it when you uh, finally realize the solution to a problem. That aha moment. Clamping that side is not going to be a problem at all. In order to do this, I'm going to be using an ancient clamp. So we're going to use a gravity clamp. It ain't gonna move. All right, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm still worried about these cracks through the wood that I can see right through the wood. So I'm going to be putting some wood filler in there just so the black from the mechanism won't be visible through the wood and um, then we'll have to wait for it to dry again I got myself this, it's like a little arts and craft I don't know what you call it it's like that thing you use to put on cement but uh, this is a small one I'm gonna quickly give you a close up of how how well this thing works it's so perfect it's like this perfect tool for wood filler. It's got a sharp point so it gets into literally all the small areas so easy and you can even scrape access off. It's just really a nice tool. I actually don't know for what an art and craft they make these, I assume it's for clay. Alright, the back braces is on. It's a lot better, a lot sturdier. Now I can, uh, we're almost done. All I need to do now is attach the dominoes.
I have to say, I had a lot of fun making this project. However, this was more challenging than I thought it would be. I, I ran into complications and things that I did not even think would happen. Uh, the nice thing is that I learned so much from it. For instance, the glue is visible where I glued the wood together. And that's because I've never glued something that had such a big gap in the wood, that had uh, grooves in the wood. And I didn't know that the, the, the glue was going to be so visible. So that, that's the one thing that I have to do some research on and make, or maybe try and do different next time. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the one thing I noticed. Also, the, I've never worked with wood that's, that's so deteriorated from, from laying outside. So that was something new that I had to um, deal with. Uh, I like these new experiences that, that makes you uh, grow and, and become better. The other thing is I did not know whether I should seal the wood first and then put the resin with the dominoes or you know make sure that the, the resin makes contact with the raw wood and then seal it I decided to to do the latter to first put it on the raw wood to make sure it's a, there's a good grip I, I wasn't sure about what it would do on top of the varnish uh, the, the downside with that is that I did paint the dominoes when I painted the varnish and you can actually see it it didn't turn out perfect I still like it I still think it's it's really nice and it just means that the Mark II of this will, uh, will be so much better because I've learned a, a lot along the way. And that's the uh, whole idea of this, is trying new things and seeing how it goes and learning from it. And when you try new things, sometimes they don't work out the way you want them to work out. That's just part of the game, that's how it works. It's all fun though. Anyway, I hope you like this and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I, I really do appreciate all the support I'm getting. Every single person that watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. Here's a comment suggestion for this video. There's 28 dominoes in a set. I just used 12. There is uh, 16 left. Uh, if you have any ideas or thoughts what I can make with the other 16, you can't play dominoes with the incomplete set, so I might as well use it for something. So if you have any ideas, please leave it in the comments. I would like to hear from you. Ooh, before I forget, if things work out, then the next video is going to be really exciting. So please ensure that you are subscribed and that the bell is on so that you can get the notification for that video coming out. It is something that I have wanted to do for 30 years I think and uh, I'm very excited so that is for the for the next video until next time make your best life It will of course work if I plug the right one in. Ah, much better. Cracks stuff the...